Yo, what is up Guardians, Blitz Fire 91 here, back with another Destiny tutorial video. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to use the Warlock and its subclasses in both PvE and PvP. So to start things off, we will start with Voidwalker for PvP. That's the Crucible. Um, now, first off, um, I would highly, highly recommend running the Ram in PvP because it is OP. It uh, does let you survive a lot of things that you wouldn't normally survive in without it and also you know it has that awesome perk where all voidwalker melees uh trigger lifesteal on hit so definitely recommend it for running voidwalker um some people the only other thing i can really recommend is what some people like to do and run these nothing manacles because if you hit somebody in the feet with that grenade it will kill them that grenade is op with those gauntlets but i still prefer the ram because it lets you survive a lot more it even lets you survive a golden gun shot in certain circumstances so there's that, and now to get on with the subclass. All right, first thing we're gonna start off with is the Axion Bolt for your grenade. Like I said, this uh, scatter grenade here works great if you have the nothing manacles, but without the nothing manacles, it's not very good. And Vortex Grenade, I don't think I see anyone run that in Crucible anymore because it's just not good. Uh, nobody's stupid enough to just stand in it, usually. <laughs> now, for your Axion Bolt, um, this is great. It won't kill anybody but one hit, but if, but if they've been shot, it will kill them. But what it's really good for is making them run and run and run because it chases you for freaking ever. So it's really good for that, and that's what I really use it for. I'll throw it on an objective and watch the guys just take off running. It's pretty funny. All right, now for the jump. Uh, blink, as I suggested with the Hunter, always use Blink if it's available. So if you're running a void wa Voidwalker, I highly, highly recommend using Blink. If you're not used to it, like I said, get used to it. Use it in PvE and PvE until you have it down flat. Blink will save you from a lot of super deaths. So there's that. Now, the uh, super style for the Voidwalker really depends on your gameplay style. I personally like to use Lance because I like to I like to shoot mine long range because they don't expect it and I like to be able to hit exactly where I aim. But a lot of people like to use Vortex on an objective because there are people that stand in that surprisingly, unlike the grenade. So some people use Vortex, some people use Shatter. So it's really your personal opinion here. Find what works best for you. Vortex is good for uh, playing control. It will also take out a Titan bubble as well as damage the people after the bubble goes down if they're still standing there. A Shatter will take out a Titan bubble and kill the guys inside if you throw it from far enough away that the middle projectile hits the bubble and the other two land beside the bubble because the middle projectile will hit the bubble first since it's higher in the air and then the two on the outsides will hit the ground after the bubble's gone and kill everybody but you gotta get it just right and it's awesome when you do if you can perfect that shatter is the way to go if you're trying to take out defender titans so if you're in a match with a bubble train of defender titans i would uh, not recommend that though because it will only take one of them out uh use vortex because the Vortex Grenade and the Vortex off the Super will actually penetrate a the inside of a bubble. If Even if the bubble doesn't go down, the Void will still do damage through the bubble, so there's that. But like I said, I prefer Lanch. You guys just figure out what works, works best for you there. Now for the melee. Right now I'm using Soul Rip um, because I'm using the Ram Helmet. So if you're using the Ram Helmet, use Soul Rip. Do not use Life Steal or you'll be being redundant because every hit with the Ram Helmet on gives you Life Steal. Now if you are not wearing the Ram Helmet, definitely definitely use lifesteal it's the best perk here because if you hit an enemy with energy drain it will restore a significant portion of your health so you hit somebody you get a lot of your health back it's pretty cool uh but like i said if you are wearing the rail helmet then definitely use soul rip because you're already getting lifesteal and surge surge is good if you're blinking a lot like if you're blink shotgunning you might want to use surge but i find soul rip to give you my noble bomb more often because it's it's pretty cool but you know like i said Definitely don't use Lifesteal if you're using the Ram. Now, as far as these go here, um, you want to use Arcane Force for uh, the first upgrade here. And then you want to use Divine Order. As you see, both of these lower your uh, armor. And this one doesn't, but it boosts your recovery. I prefer to have the highest agility I can have in PvP, especially if I'm using a character that uses Blink. Because it makes you blink faster. So... You don't sit there on the ground as long because when you're in a blink animation, if they shoot where you started your blink, you'll still die. So having higher agility gets you out of that animation faster. So it's very useful. So I highly recommend Arcane Force and Divine Order here. 
Now for this, I like to use Annihilate. It just increases the size of the Noble Bomb explosion. So if you don't hit them and you hit near them, you might still hit them. If you're using Vortex, definitely use this because it makes that Vortex bigger. Um, you know, tracking enemies in PvP is useless because it barely tracks. It's kind of useless in PvE too. And then this energy drain effect can be good if you're going to try and get super after super after super, but it's it's not great in PvP. And for the last one, I like to increase the range of my Axiom Bolt Seekers and the duration of the Vortex uh, Nova Bomb if I am using Vortex. But mainly I use this for the Axiom Bolts. It makes them... Uh, it makes, if you, you can throw the grenade farther away from somebody and the grenade will still hit them. And then of course there's uh, Bloom, which nobody really uses in PvP because the PvP, because the explosion is not that big when you kill somebody with an ability. So it's not all that useful. It, it has its certain times where it comes in handy, like on an objective, if you Nova Bomb a bunch of dudes and they all explode and kill the other guy. But it's very rare that it is better than Vortex Mastery. And then there's Embrace the Void, where this one can be good. Like I said, if you're going for a lot of supers, if you really want to Nova Bomb a lot of people, this one, anytime you damage an enemy with your Nova Bomb or your grenade, it'll trigger the energy drain. So if you are going to use Embrace the Void, also use the Hunger. But like I said, these two up here, Vortex Mastery and Annihilate, are better than the other two. But if you want to use your Nova Bomb a bunch, use these two. But anyway, guys, I recommend for your Warlock Final, use this loadout and wear the ram helmet if you have it. If you do not have the ram helmet, use this loadout. So that's what I recommend for you guys as far as PvP goes. Now in PvE, I would still recommend using Axion Bolt, but the Vortex Grenade is also really good because some of the AI is stupid enough to stand inside of it. Um, and if, like I said, nothing manacles, you can wear that, but most people don't wear the nothing manacles in PvE because it's the enemies aren't that hard to kill. So I, I recommend the Axion Bolt still because it actually does a lot of damage in PvE. And then for your jump, I like to use Focus Burst and use it in short bursts. Don't just glide the whole way. So jump, hit X, get that little speed boost, and then hit X again, fall, jump, do the speed boost again, and just do that repeatedly. And then in here, I like to use either Vortex or Shatter. If I'm going against high-level enemies, I'll use Vortex. If I'm facing a bunch of low-level adds, I'll use Shatter so I can hit more of them at once. But most of the time, I'm running Vortex. But like a personal preference for these two, um, you don't really have to use Lance in PvE because odds are they're not moving fast enough for you to miss them. So I recommend Vortex Shatter if you're running like, you know, like low-level strikes or something. But mostly Vortex, really good against bosses because most of them will just stand there and take it. Um, now, as far as this goes for uh, PVE, like I said, if you're wearing the Ram Helmet, use Soul Rip. I, I still wouldn't use Surge because it's not that great in PVE. But Lifesteal with Ram Helmet, same as PVP, Soul Rip without, exact same thing. I use the same trees because, like I said, I like to have a little more agility and max. always run with max armor on any character in any mode. Uh, I can't stress that enough. That helps a lot. It will keep you from dying a lot. Now for this one, I don't, sometimes I'll use Annihilate, but I actually do run the Divine Order and Embrace the Void on PvE because I like to have my Nova Bomb more often, and I don't really, you know, have a problem with hitting my grenade on PvE, or like, if I am Nova Bombing a bunch of guys, I'll use Shatter, so I don't really need the increased explosion. So I do use these, and it lets me Nova Bomb a lot more often, so, you know, it's it's helpful. Um, so that's pretty much it for PvE, guys. Like I said, use this for PvE if you're using the Ram Helmet. If you're not, use this. So that's pretty much as far as I got on the skill tree for you guys on PvE. Now for the exotics, um, one of the coolest things to do if you are running low level, which is really fun to just play around with, is to simply do uh, the lower level strikes and such with my favorite gun combination to run on the Voidwalker. I like to run with my Obsidian Mine, and then I will throw on my Bad Juju, and pretty much have infinite supers. It's just fun. If you guys haven't tried it, try out. Try it. It's a blast. Make sure both are maxed out. Um, <laughs> it's it's just stupid fun. But aside from that, in PVE, um, you know, none of these health, none of these exotics for the Warlock are overly exciting in PVE. This one's good for Crota because you replenish health and you pick up an orb, but nothing really shouts, hey, use me in PvE. Um, nothing's that great. As you see here, um, this one can be good if you're doing a raid and you need supers for some reason, or a lot of supers. But other than that, I highly recommend the Ram Helmet. Once again, you get that increased uh, armor, which is a lifesaver. All right, guys, now for the Sun Singer. I sometimes will I will run my Ram with the Sun Singer in uh, PvE just for the uh, increased armor, but not usually. I don't run my Sunsinger a lot in PvP, but sometimes I like to have that self-revive. So usually if I'm running that, I'll just put on my um, 
I put on my purifier robes. I wait for if I die, I don't revive unless there's a group of guys beside me. I'll I'll let I'll save my revive for when I can use it effectively. Because if you revive in the middle of three or four guys on an objective, like if somebody kills you in the ghost take objective, revive, they'll all be blind. And remember, your melee after you revive is a one hit kill, so melee. Um, but other than that, um, if you're not if you don't have purifier robes, I you know if you're playing trials, light beyond nemesis is where it's at. You need revive faster. But there's no exotic for your, you know, for your Sunsinger that's just amazing, unfortunately. The Warlock kind of gets screwed on exotics, and to that extent, the Titan kind of does too. The Hunter got all the good exotics. I feel Bungie's playing a little bit favorite there. So use whatever exotic you want. Um, I usually run Purifier Robes, like I said. But now to the skill tree. Um, so first off, in PvP, we want to use the Firebolt Grenade. Always, always use the Firebolt Grenade. Some people run with stickies, but if you miss with a sticky, you've wasted your grenade. So use Firebolt. It does a hell of a lot of damage. And I'm going to skip these things real quick. Um, when you're using your Firebolt, you also want to use, if I can find it here, Viking Funeral, which makes your enemies ignite and burn longer. This does an amazing amount of damage if you can find it with Touch of Flame. So every time you hit them with, even if you just barely hit them with your Firebolt Grenade, they're going to catch fire and they're going to burn and burn and burn, and it's not going to let the recovery kick in. And it will almost kill them. And if they've taken one shot, it will kill them. So guys, use your your Firebolt, Viking Funeral, and Touch of Flame. I can't stress that enough. That is the most important thing for the Sunsinger tree. Use those three. You won't regret it. Now, I, I like to use Focus Burst, and like I said with the uh, with the other classes, um, and like the Void Walker in PVE, just hit it, burst it, and then stop. Don't, don't, you do not want to ever glide in PVP because you will get sniped. That is such an easy headshot to hit if you see someone gliding through the air because they're on a trajectory that you can predict very easily. So just tap X really fast. It'll make you kind of stutter, make you harder to snipe. So now for your super, now if you are playing Trials Fireborn, that's all I can say. Fireborn, Fireborn, Fireborn. You want to be able to revive. But if you're playing regular PvP, I would actually recommend using Radiant Skin. Uh, when you know you're going to take a letter or you're running into a group of enemies, pop your super and you will take less damage and have, you know, you basically have that overshield when you run in there. So you have twice as much shield. So this can save you from a lot of damage. You can, If you have the Ram Helmet on with Radiant Skin, you'll survive a Golden Gun shot. You'll survive all kinds of stuff. It's awesome. So this is one thing where I like to wear the Ram Helmet with the Sunsinger class because Radiant Skin plus Ram Helmet equals pretty much indestructible. It's awesome. But uh, I don't recommend Song of Flame ever in PvP. It's, it's, it's a PvE perk. So like I said, Radiant Skin for regular, Fireburn for Trials. Definitely, definitely Fireborn for Trials. Unless you're really good and you know you can get them with Radiant Skin, Fireborn can be much better in Trials. So that's what I recommend there. Now, as far as the melee, Flame Shield, don't use Solar Wind. It's useless in PvE and PvP. So when do you need to knock somebody back, honestly? And then Brimstone is also useless. It, you're, it's, you're never going to melee somebody and get a kill off the explosion. If you do, it's going to be on YouTube. It's going to be funny. Um, it, it's rare. So... Flame shield, you melee, if you're almost dead, you melee kill somebody, you get your shield back. Actually, you don't have to kill them, sorry. You damage an enemy, you will get your shield back, and it will save you from dying. I, I've saved myself from death so many times with this. So definitely use flame shield in PvE and PvP. Now, for your, um, for your stat classes, all right, you want to use Arcane Force and Divine Order. This gives you max armor and the most agility you can have, as you see. Everything else takes down agility or gives you recovery. So you don't get much agility with your Sunsinger. He's kind of slow compared to the Hunter, but not compared to the Titan. So use those. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Max armor all the time. All right, and I already went with over to you guys. Uh, Viking Funeral and Touch of Flame. So always use those with the combination of the grenade. Uh, Angel of Light is a very easy way to get sniped in PvP. If you use that, I'm going to shoot you out of the air. Super easy. You know, this is the one thing. Uh, if you're going to use... Some people run... The gift of the sun for the extra firebolt grenade it doesn't ignite but if you hit them with both grenades they'll be dead at the beginning of the round so uh, it it can be useful but it's harder to get the kill touch of flame will net you much more kills um so the sunburst is useless in pvp one orb every now and then is not going to help anybody and radiant will increase the radiant of duration it's it's not it's nothing compared to viking, viking funeral always always use viking funeral um so that's pretty much all i've got for you guys as far as the warlock goes 
So um, use those guys and you'll notice a drastic improvement in your PvP game without even trying. I guarantee it. So I hope you guys liked it and don't forget to like and subscribe for future content.